Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. <clears throat> How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time for another sale. This is a knife sale. I'm trimming my collection. I'm continuing to trim it. We do have Chris Reeve knives. <clears throat> I said I wasn't going to sell them to you guys. I was going to up the price and get rid of them. I figured let's do more Chris Reeve knives. A lot of Spydecos. I have discontinued even more than I did last time the Chris Reeve knives and the Spydecos. I have really the more high-end ones that I'll be offering tonight. I have really discounted. So here are the rules. It's USA only. It's a USA sale only. I know sometimes that gets people upset. It's just easier on me. So it's USA only. If you see, um, the directions are in the description. A list of all the knives and their prices are in the description as well. I'll be going through these pretty fast. If you see something in the subject line of the email, you need to send me an email to KeithKevinKin at gmail.com. KeithKevinKin, just like this channel, at gmail.com. Okay? Subject line, the number, the knife that you want, and then in the email put, it's mine. I'll respond with, it's yours. If you're first, you have 30 minutes to send your payment to my PayPal. After 30 minutes, I'll go to the next one in line. Okay? Um, when you send it to PayPal, I know early on I said, do friends and family. You don't have to do that. Do goods and services. Just send it to them. Um, and that'll be it. So let's go with the sale. Um, the first knife is a Strider SJ75 Mini. This is... <laughs> A hard to find knife s35 vn steel three inch blade with the black coating smooth green g10 just a wonderful knife um, this is for 375 375 and that's the strider strider doesn't come they didn't send these with special boxes or anything but all of these knives, by the way, have never been used, have never cut anything. You will get them all with their boxes uh, in very good shape. Here's a Hinderer half track. It's tie, it's textured. You can actually go to Blade HQ and see what I paid for it, a bunch of money. But I've taken it down even more, $480 for the Hinderer. I don't know. I forget if I keep these open or not. <laughs> I have one Medford knife because I just went crazy when I first saw the Panzer with the Tanto. It's D2, black coated, of course, Coyote G10, uh, titanium with the frame lock. You guys know Medford knives. $495. Heavy discount on all these knives. Yeah, I know. For some reason, you guys do not like serrated, even when they're rare. Like this rare, large Sabenza 21 that has a combo blade. S35 VN steel with the combo blade. Boy, I've been marking this down a lot. $375. By the way, you won't see new never used never used obviously i own them uh blades like this here's the small version combo blade small sabenza 21 what are we doing with this one 325 dollars for this one we might as well go and do all the combo blades when i first found these i just went crazy i couldn't believe it because you just don't see them around this is the micarta inlaid sabenza large sabenza 21 with obviously s35 v and steel all of the sabenzas you'll see except for of course the damascus ones have s35 v and steel this has a micarta inlaid as well with that combo blade and that is four hundred dollars the small combo blade 
uh, with the Micarta inlay. Did I say that other one was $400? This is for $360. Of course, you'll get the box. You will, you'll get uh, the birth certificate. You won't get the blue towel. I keep that. <laughs> this is the large Sabenza 21 with the Tanto blade and the Micarta. I took this down again. Let's see, where is that? $425. I think last time I... Let me... This uh, desk is going to get real full, so let me take in all of these blades, you guys. Okay? We're going to go through... We're saving all of the spidacles at the end. That's me, not the blade. Oh, man. This half track is <laughs> so smooth. The baby Huey. All right. Let's get going. Sorry, this desk is like really, really. Um, this is the large Sabenza 21. I love this knife. I really do. It's the large one with ladder Damascus blade as well. Just in great near new condition. Never cut. Very smooth as well. Uh, that, the large version of with the ladder of Damascus is $600. This is $530. And believe me, that's huge discount. This is the small Sabenza 21 with that wonderful ladder Damascus. Plain Jane, small and cozy, S35 VM steel, and we're going for $330 for that. The Sabenza um, with CGG riddled, this is the large Sabenza 21 riddled, it doesn't have a lanyard, never been used. However, $425. And here's the small version. Small Sabenza 21 riddled. And for the small riddled is $375. Trust me when I tell you these are <laughs> great deals. I had five of these. Three of them have been gone. The smaller ones. Here's the bigger ones. This is just unbelievable. It's Raindrop Damascus, large Sabenza 21. It has Raindrop CGG in the handle, and of course, that wonderful Devin Thomas Damascus in perfect condition. And that is $600. Trust me, if you look those up, you'll see that <laughs> that's a huge discount for a knife that's never cut anything. And this is the Sabenza 25 with ladder Damascus. Again, the CCG and uh, just in perfect condition. Oh, and that's $600 as well. I have the Sabenza 25. This is the KnifeArt.com exclusive, all carbon fiber. Man, I love the carbon fiber. I had the whole family, and, <laughs> and the trimming took them all. That sounds like a movie, right? The trimming took them all, but they haven't taken two of them. I only have two left after the 10 that I used to have. This one is numbered. The first 100 were numbered. This is the whole front is wonderful carbon fiber it's a lot lighter and this is for four hundred and fifty five dollars Sabenza 25 did I skip hold on you guys I'm sorry yes four hundred and fifty five dollars and you'll see it um, in the uh, description this is the second of the last two, that's the first. 
This is a small Zabenza 21 knifeart.com full carbon fiber on the front scales of course on the work side you have titanium it has S35VN steel both of these have the special bead as well on the lanyard just a wonderful knife and that small Tanto which we took down again $425 one of the fanciest knives I've had for a long time is this one. It's the large Sabenza 21 with, oh, I love that box Elderboro inlay. The ladder Damascus as well. Devin Thomas's ladder Damascus. Everything just wonderful. Those inlays on the polished titanium. That, my friends, is for $725. And that is a huge, huge discount. Never used. Let's see, where are we now? I'm sorry I'm slow. <laughs> Tired. Um, so, we're still moving. This is the small and cozy from Chris Reeve. This was... The second to the last knife that I bought in my collection. I really love it. It has that natural Micarta inlay for a small Sabenza 21. You could tell that it's in Kosi because look at the clip. Yeah, it's off the lock bar. Plus, there was no such thing as a small Sabenza 25. Ah, I'll stop talking. Don't forget, <laughs> this is going for $425 with that natural Micarta. Remember the rules. It is USA only. When you see something, email me at Keith Kevin Ken, just like this channel, at gmail.com. In the subject, put the number of the knife, the name, and in the context of the email, put it's mine. I'll respond and say it's yours if you're the first one. If you're not, I'll say I'm in the process of selling it. I'll get back to you if it falls through. You'll have 30 minutes to send money to my PayPal. Uh, remember, do goods and services. That's fine. Just do goods and services. Send it off. Uh, you have 30 minutes to do that. Once you do that, I'll send you a note asking for your address. I am mailing all of these knives that are sold this weekend on Monday and they all will be sold, um, sent priority mail on me with insurance on Monday. And then after that, if there are still knives available and you go through the same process, I will mail them the next business day. Okay? This is a this is a Bacotti inlay Manundi. Ah, oh, very nice is what Manundi means. It's just really wonderful. And this has the basket weave Damascus, one of the most expensive of the three Damascus, the raindrop, um, the ladder Damascus, and then the basket weave. I just love how tight that is. Bacotti inlay. $485. Try to find one with basket weave. <laughs> oh my goodness. $485. And then we have the Kookaburro with Raindrop Damascus, Devin Thomas Raindrop Damascus for $485. Um the beast is still available did you hear it oh this is the halo 5 with n690 steel um from microtech the only marks you'll see on it it comes with a kydax sheath and and i put it in there twice and that's the only marks that you see it doesn't have a clip because it's so big but listen ah <sighs> tanto blade Wonderful N N690 steel, the combo blade, just, oh, it's a beast. It really is. Uh, I took this down, the price down once again. We've been doing that a lot with this one. Listen to this, $520. 
Say hello to the expensive <laughs> scarab. It's not the expensive scarab. It's the upscale uh, scarab uh, double action out the front. This is the QD scarab with tantal, black blade, Elmax, right? Yep, Elmax steel. And you will never see it for this price anywhere. Trust me, 500 and $25. Just a wonderful knife. Oh. Sorry. Did I just do that in your... Okay, I'm trying to make room because now we're going to the Spydacos. All of which I took some off. This is the Nalaka. It's the Puku Design S30V Steel. 3.5 inches has a 3D, oh man, G10 on it. It is so nice. Look at that tip. It's just a wonderful, stylish knife for $180. $180. This is the Sprint Run PPT. I actually had four PPTs. They went. This is the Sprint Run. It has carbon fiber. S90V steel. The blade is 3.2 inches. And you can see all the titanium. Just a wonderful frame lock, even though the scale's up. Just a deep carry pocket clip. Comes with a lanyard. And I took a lot off of this. Sprint run means it's a limited edition from Spydeco. Usually around 1200 give or take 200 that's two hundred and five dollars. The Delica. It's funny. Someone sent me a <laughs> an email uh, or or responded to one of my videos saying, "I saw this for five hundred dollars." Um, yeah, hard to find the brown jig bone with the Damascus. Um, Delica. Look at the back. Look at that foul work down the back. Just a wonderful knife. Um, strong back lock. Look at it. It's just beautiful. I took a little off of this again. $205. Had a blue one. Also had a brown and blue Endura. All three of those have already sold. Um, where are we? Oh! Remember this? Just came out a couple of weeks ago. It's a Saint Nick, Saint Nick's knife exclusive Delica. I really like this. I love the dark red G10, the black blade. This is a Hap 40 steel blade, by the way. Hap 40 steel blade. All of the black clip. Uh, I actually looked up Saint Nick knives. And he was selling it for a lot more than I'm going to sell it. $175. Remember, all of these have never been used. Factory Edge. You'll get the box and all the papers that go with it. This also was a new Delica. This one came from Spydeco just a couple of weeks ago. By the way, all of these knives are on the Knife of the Day playlist on this channel. So you can go check them out. This is the Desert Camel. Uh, Zume uh, Delica for $75. You guys know Zume. That's that special Japanese treatment. It starts with the lighter color. So this would be light. This is the desert camo. The light brown. And then the dark brown is hand dyed. Hand dyed. So each of these are unique. $75. Yeah, we have an Endora one too, and that's for $75 as well. And you guys know the difference in size of those. We have the Delica Titanium. <laughs> in, I mean, I'm sorry, why am I saying? In, I'm sorry, you guys. We have the Spydeco Endora tie. I had the Delica tie. With the Damascus blade, it moved. It was one of the very first knives 
This one I dropped again, another savings, $170. Never used factory edge. This is the Ulyz from Spydeco. It's a it's like the police. They developed it for some international police departments. Very nice knife, 4.1 inch blade, VG10 steel, $140. Sage 1, yeah, celebrating the liner lock. 3 inch blade, carbon fiber on top of G10. Oh, just a classic. S35 VN steel. S35, what did I say? VG10? I, I don't know. I'm sorry, you guys, if I messed up. Let's start again. I'll take a deep breath. I'm trying to go fast <laughs> because this has been a long day putting this together. This is, folks, the Sage One. Celebrating the liner lock, 3-inch blade, S35 VN steel for $125. One of the most popular sages before the Sage 5 came, and we've already sold that. I'm sorry, you guys. Look at this. I'm just bumping everything. This is the Sage 2. This is celebrating Chris Reeves' integral frame lock. Again, 3 inches, S35 VN steel, $170. I took a lot off of this one this time as well. One second. This is the Spydeco. That was me, not the, <laughs> This is the Spydeco Hannon Flipper from Brad Southern. His newest flipper, three-inch blade, and has the compression lock and is smooth as I don't know what. Steel bolster, tie bolster, I'm sorry, with G10, $210. I held this back because I loved it so much, but I'm trimming it today. This is the Mantra 1. It just basically is a tie version of the Delica that flips. <laughs> I mean, plain and simple, it's just a beautiful knife. CPM M4 steel, you have to take care of it, but it's a wonderful steel. And we're doing the Mantra 1 for $165. I was trying to keep it because a Mantra 3 should be coming out pretty soon from Spydeco. Want to do a video where I could compare them, but right now you'll be able to compare them. This is the Mantra 2, and the difference is the blade shape. Everything else is the same. M4 steel from Crucible, but you can see that it's a thinner blade. And I, at first when I got it, I said, man, that's a funny shape. But the great thing is, look how it fits when the blade's down. Fits great in the pocket. See-through construction on both with the wire clip. I love the Mantra 1 and 2. Uh, Spyderco is going to do a cheaper Mantra not the full tie. They're going to even change the blade steel because M4 is not a stainless steel. I'm selling both of those for $165. Have not been used. The original Domino hasn't been used either with the carbon fiber. CTS XHP steel 3.0 one inches, $165. Yeah, they did a number of different. I love this. Spyderco actually pimped themselves because no one loved that domino. Except for me because it looks like an old domino set that I used to have. This is the blue weaved version of the domino. Everything else is the same. Steel CTS XHP steel. This has this wonderful carbon fiber on top of G10 and blue. I had a red one and, oh, what was the other one? An all blue one. Those sold real quick. 
This is the last one during this trimming, $165, just like the original price, actually a lot lower than the original price. So we all remember Spartaco working with Peter Carey. Well, here's the Rubicon, all the <laughs> great 3D carbon fiber, the, the unique pivot, with the G10, the orange G10, the orange G10 backspacer, the unique clip, um, S30V steel, three inch blade, hollow ground. You'll never see it for $235. You do here on the Keith Kevin Ken. Remember, send me an email at Keith Kevin Ken, Keith Kevin Ken at gmail.com. Calm. In the subject, tell me the number and the knife. In the body, say, it's mine. I'll respond with, it's yours. Give you my PayPal. Send it to PayPal. Remember, you can do goods and services. That's fine with me. But just send it to PayPal. You'll have 30 minutes to send it. This is a USA only. I want to ship out all of these knives on Monday to get to you. Because people didn't like the heavy price of the Rubicon, Spyderco came out with the Rubicon 2, out with the carbon fiber, instead carbon fiber on top of G10, not 3D, not a fancy pivot, still has the orange accent on the, on the back, not the fancy clip, so that it could be a lot less expensive. $200 is what we're selling this to to you for actually we're selling the original for almost what <laughs> the price is for that of course they still want to give peter carey his due and so his next knife the magnitude came out and they went all out again hollow ground s30 v steel blade wonderful carbon fiber ah oh, it feels so good the pivot came back Nice contoured backspacer with brown instead of orange G10 and a new clip and flips like a dream. Titanium liners, $275 for the magnitude. So you actually have the triple play from Peter Carey and Spydeco available. Wow, how am I going to make room? I know people got mad at me for setting these on top of other knives, but I'm going to do that. Somehow you guys are allergic to serrated <laughs> edges. <laughs> I tell you, I really like these knives. If you're a fisher, fishing person or you're in the, <laughs> or if you're in Seattle <laughs> or wherever, um, these are really nice knives. They are rust proof. Spyderco is using that NASA steel, LC200N steel. It will not rust. This is a rough proof knife with this wonderful G10. And these are the serrated versions. The plain edge versions went quick. Of course, it's the Spyderco leaf shape and the sheep's foot on the other one. Fully serrated, 3.7 inch blades. Both of them 4.2 uh, ounces, and man, I keep cutting off the prices on the, I mean cutting off, cutting down the prices, $130 each, $130 each, and with the compression lock. See that just fall like that? Jeez, oh man. Um, just wonderful knives. I keep hitting my camera. It's hard. It's not a camera, it's a phone. Hold on, you guys, sorry. It's hard to get all these on here. This, my friends, is the 100 Pacer. Remember when Spartaco came out with this? Big knife. It's called a 100 Pacer because it's named after a, a poisonous uh, knife, I think, in Taiwan. And it was said that if you ever got bit by that snake, you'd die within a, before you finished 100 paces. 
CTS XHP steel, excellent steel, four inch blade for $200 and that is a heavy discount for the 100 pacer heavy heavy discount yeah we still have some more I don't think I showed you guys for sale the rock I love Serge Pachanko one of my favorite custom knife makers he teamed up with Spydeco for all of their tag knives which I love and have this is his cleaver VG10 steel it has a, a, a coating on the blade a really nice knife 3.1 inches frame lock $145 is the price never used here are some newer Spydeco's that just came out within the year, really. Here's the Opus, 3.7 inch blade, S30V steel. I love, it just really fits the hand perfectly. It does. Ugh. S30V, black, G10 with liners, a liner lock, $180 for the Opus, the newer Opus. The Delara, the Delara 3, I actually own the other two Delaras, the older knives. I love them. They're named after a New York City policeman who ran into the building on 9-11 and didn't come out a big hero. Um, this is just a wonderful knife. It is 3.4 inches. It has that ball bearing, Spyderco's ball bearing lock with that ceramic ball, which is just wonderful. S30V steel, $175. And this is one of the newer ones with a heavy discount. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. I'm trying to get through it. Cue ball. This is a brand new one, again with the ball bearing lock, but man, it has this Warncliffe blade. Look at this. The choil, the full choil is on the blade, and man, it's just a nice one. Again, with the ball bearing lock, the wire clip on the black G10, just a nice knife, $140. Oh, let's see where we can put these. Another update from an older knife that I have. You can go check on the knives of the day to see some of the older ones. But this is just wonderful. It's the Spydeco Little Temperance 3. Another chunky little knife. But not thick. Not thick. It just feels like a lot of knife. <laughs> oh man, I really love this. Compression lock as well. S30V steel, 2.9 inches under that 3 inches. I love that they have the compression lock. Black G10, one of the newer knives, $170. Wonderful compression lock. The earlier one had a compression lock. One of the earlier uh, uses of the compression lock. Spydeco Chinook 4. Again, you I haven't really, I've offered some of my newer knives. You can see the original Chinooks on the playlist. I own them all. Um, but this is the Chinook 4. It's more modern, as you can see. Strong backlog. In fact, this is the power backlog. Two parts to make sure that that big blade is taken care of. That trailing blade, 3.8 inches, nice and thin, um, full skeletonized liners, S30V steel, $170. This is a really nice knife. Secure is all get out with that new power lock as well. I have the originals. I could not wait for this to come out. 
It's the Spyderco ATR at the ready. It has so much going for it. 3.5 inch blade, okay? It has the Cobra hood. So instead of jimping, you have this hood that comes out with jimping on it, which is great. It really helps you to open up the knife even quicker than the old man like me can. Has a compression lock. And I love this. It is G10, but I love all the holes. It makes this bigger knife not only look great, but really lighter. $170. These newer knives I'm talking about just came out in the uh, 2017 catalog, which means, yeah, they've been delivered about six months ago because Spyderco is so late. Just three more, you guys. And then go say it's yours. Pick a knife. I don't understand it. It's the blacked out Shaman. <laughs> S30V steel. It's the big version of the native. The uh, satin blade one went pretty quick. Um, compression lock. Just this molded G10 handle. It's blacked out. I think it was price. So I dipped it a lot. $165 for the blacked out plain edge shaman you, you'll never find one that <laughs> at that price and of course i know you guys are allergic to the serrated i like it great for edc and everything else i'm offering the blacked out version as well as the tumbled version tumble blade 155 dollars for each and that my friends is the sale Don't forget, USA only, Keith Kevin Ken at gmail.com. Knife number and the subject in the body of it. Say it's yours. Look at the list. I have the particulars on the list. All of these knives I've gone over, they are on my playlist for the knife of the day. Man, I really like all of you guys. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for helping me to manage <laughs> my collection um i adore all you guys i really do you mean a lot to me whether you buy something or you don't i hope you like this video if i made some mistakes because i'm i went through 52 <laughs> knives in right now 38 minutes so <laughs> less than a minute a knife um but Again, I, I have posted these knives and down in the description will give you the sale rules as well as the knives. You guys have a perfect day. Thank you for watching the channel and supporting the channel. Subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of these knife sales and Monday through Friday as we go through new knives. I'm going to have some new knives early next week from Spydeco. Also, once you subscribe, there's a bell. You need to hit it. That'll give you warning. <laughs> That's the notifications. You'll get notified as soon as I post one of these sales videos because remember, this is first come, first serve. You guys have a perfect day. Hey, take good care of yourselves, okay? Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.